Hey, welcome back to Diablo 3. Uh, in this episode, we are going to start up by talking to Leah, because uh, we have uh, some kind of uh, plot device that must be uh, acquired. But first, I actually want to talk to Dr. Kane. Leah told me of your crusade to find the source of corruption in the Zakarum faith. I may have information that will help you. Mephisto, Lord of Hatred, spent many years trapped under Travancall and slowly tainted the Zakarum in a bid for freedom. I have heard this, but knowing how it happened is not enough. I must find the source of the corruption and cleanse it. Yes, you must find it and destroy it. Mephisto is no more. His soul was destroyed on the Hellforge. I am sorry, Crusader. I've dedicated my life to this crusade. And your news does not change my oath. If I search my entire life and find nothing, it will still have been worth the journey. Man, this guy is like... This is like the embodiment of, uh... The perfect religious kind of guy. He just doesn't give a shit. He's just himself. You know? Alright, what's up, Leah? You're alive! Thanks to you and your friend here. It was my duty to help. Now, I would know of the falling star. The yes, please tell me of this uh, strange star that fell from the sky. A sign that the end has begun. Please, Uncle, not more of your stories. All that matters now is that you're back. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yes, I'm. Yes, you're back. Um, let's see. One by one. One to strength generates four life per second. It actually gives us gives us some strength, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Uh, let's see, slash electrify. The slash becomes pure lightning, potentially stunning enemies it hits. I will go ahead and take that. That's better than uh, the original version. Provoke, uh, taunt all nearby enemies and instantly regenerate an additional five wrath for every enemy taunted. Um, I'll take it for the time being. Um, I'm actually starting to think. You know, I'm actually thinking about it. I don't think I am going to talk to everybody. I think that might be something that you guys are not necessarily interested in. So, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I am just going to talk to the uh, main characters for the story. He was driven mad by Diablo's evil. He lost both of his sons and his very soul before he was finally defeated. Now, it seems he's risen to plague this land once again. Then I will be the cure. The key to defeating him lies in his old crown. Seek out our blacksmith, Hadrig. He knows of its whereabouts. Hadrig, where did you go? Yeah, I'm starting to think I probably will just talk to the main uh, plot characters because I'm sure most of you don't really give a damn about the uh, side dialogues. So we're not going to worry about that. We're going to actually just play the game and uh, make progress. Find the crown of Leoric. Not now. It's my wife. She's locked in the cellar like all those who've been bitten. I'm to put them all down. But how can I kill my own wife? It is a hard burden you bear. I will help. I've got your back, Hadrick. Follow me. Let's get this difficult duty taken care of. Seller of the Damned. Destroy things. Oh no! It's the, the ravenous dead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my friends. Yes, you have to do what you have to do what you must do, blacksmith. Hadrig, these people are not who they once were. They are evil and must be destroyed. They will only annihilate their fellow comrades or their previous comrades. So just destroy them. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I did go up to master difficulty. Um, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult than last video. Mila, my love, forgive me. I probably shouldn't have done that, actually. You know, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see how difficult the elites are. If the elites turn out to be too difficult, I'll go back down to... Uh, uh, expert difficulty, but we shall see what happens. Mira, I must put you down. I hate to be that guy, but I have to do what I must do. So I'm just gonna keep on slashing the hell out of you 
and hit Nia a couple times with my magical flail. Um, if you don't mind. Even though I'm sure you mind immensely. And Heydrake, I'm sure this is very difficult for you to do. But it is what must be done. Just gonna go ahead and heal myself real quick before I die a horrible, painful death at the hands of the wife of Heydrig. Which is definitely not what I want to have happen, so let's kill this thing. Thank you. What do we have here? Uh, leather Gloves of the Lion, 11 to Strength. Yes, I'll take that. Increases our damage a little bit. I couldn't have done this without you. I'm in your debt. My name is Hedrig Eamon. You owe me nothing, friend. But I would welcome your aid in my quest to find the crown of Leoric. I can help you there. It's buried with his chancellor, my grandfather. You'll find his tomb in a cemetery in the Weeping Hollow. All right. You see my fool apprentice out there. Tell him to get back to town. I guess we gotta go to the Weeping Hollow. I guess that's our next, uh, our next goal then. So let's go there. Um, I guess we gotta go through here. So let's go to the Weeping Hollow. And destroy many, many things. Oh, hello. Hello, everything. Do you mind if I annihilate you? My wrath is low. My wrath is low. Yes, it is. I have not gone to the point where I have very much wrath or I have anything that regenerates wrath at a decent pace. So I'm not in good shape. Hello there, Treasure Goblin. Um, I don't see any chance in hell of me actually destroying you. So I'm not actually going to chase you. You just go ahead and disappear because I'm not really worried about you right now. You're going to be way too difficult to destroy. So just go away. I have no interest in your face right now. Okay, so kill continuously killing these ravenous dead is going to be a waste of time. I need to kill the uh, wretched mothers. Or the wretched cadavers, I should say. Scavengers are ugly, pathetic creatures who survive off of carrion and corpses too diseased to attract any other carnivores. I did once meet a raggedy fellow who claimed that he had trained one of the beasts to bring him large rats to eat. <laughs> but I'm sure the story is utter nonsense. Okay, so we got a passive skill. Um, it's not the passive skill we want. Uh, we don't want fervor. We want another one. But I suppose we can turn it on just because. It's not going to hurt anything to put on fervor. You guys need to go away. You guys are seriously causing me issues, and it's taking way too long to kill you. I'm taking more damage than I want to be taking right now. But that's probably because I'm on Master Difficulty, and this is going to take some time. Get out of here, Scavenger. I don't like you. Okay, so get, out of, get away from the enemies so you can actually, you know... He, uh, upgrade yourself. Oh, I can actually use it. Uh, yeah, we have Fervor. While wielding a one-handed weapon, your attack speed is increased by 15%, and all cooldowns are reduced by 15%. And then you have Heavenly Strength. You can wield a two-handed weapon in your main hand while bearing a shield in your offhand. But your damage dealt is reduced by 20%. I definitely like Heavenly Strength better. Um, I think it is, uh much more fun uh it allows me to use very powerful two-handed weapons in one hand and then have a shield in the other hand so that is what we shall do throughout this game is use one-handed two-handed flails and maces because that's going to be a good time for us my wrath is low. yes i know my math my wrath is low thank you sebastian I appreciate your uh, your information that you're giving me right now. Grotesque, please die. Please just die. Please just get out of my face. Can I destroy this? I can very much destroy that, which is what I shall do. I'm going to destroy that too. Because that's the good time we are having. 
hungry torsos. Use my sweep attack. I require more rat. Yeah, there must be something uh, later that will uh, help me increase wrath at a faster pace, because I keep running out of wrath. Which is just causing me continued problems. I mean, I suppose I can use um, freaking Provoke, because Provoke increases my wrath. Man, there's just stuff everywhere here. There is no chance for peace. Peace is a illusion. Illusion of grandeur. And one that is beyond our reach. Now, where is Hadrig's quote, fool apprentice? I have to try to find him somewhere and tell Hadrig that his uh, that he has uh, gotten himself lost. Oh, hi. How's it going? What is this all about? I feel like I know exactly what that is. Yes. Go ahead and identify that. Leoric's crown. Uh, 18 to strength, 25 to vitality, regenerates 24 life per second, increases the effect of any jump socket into this item by 85%, increases golden health pickup radius by one yard. I will go ahead and put that on. I'd be a fool not to. And when we get back to town next time, I'm gonna go ahead and put on, put one of my gems into it. Um. I have some, uh, I have some low-ish level gems in my, uh, stash. So, we shall use those gems in a smart fashion by putting them into Leoric's crown. My wrath is low. Yes, I'm well aware, thank you. Thank you for letting me know the obvious. Kill this retching cadaver before it has a chance to- well, never mind. I'm gonna say do it before it has a chance to spawn friends, but... We don't deal quite enough damage to kill it fast enough. Of course, we probably are playing on a- like a higher difficulty than we should be, realistically. But at the same time... We're not taking that much damage. Um, we're still killing off the enemies pretty efficiently. So I'm really not too worried about going back down in difficulty. So I don't think I will. Um, as much as it might behoove me to do so. Generate two life per second. I will go ahead and pick that up. Just use Provoke and get your, uh, get your Wrath back. And these Grotesques are a serious issue for me. Kill them both at one time. Let one destroy the other with its powerful explosion. Such a wonderful time. Oh, okay, now this is, now this right here is going to be the, uh, Decider of whether we continue on this difficulty. Um, I mean, maybe we'll be all right. The problem is that they're grotesques, so they're pretty high level. Um, just keep on using your flail. I don't like that they're plagued though. I'm dealing and taking a lot of unnecessary poison damage. Swing your flail, attack all of them at one time. Um, provoke them, get your get your uh, wrath back. Not enough wrath. Yes, I know there's not enough wrath. Yeah, yeah, these guys have a ton of health. Um, so you just gotta keep on keeping on. 
I would, I'm looking forward to when we get an upgrade for uh, either the sweep attack or we find a better uh, secondary slot uh, ability. Because sweep attack is not necessarily getting the job done as efficiently as I would like it to. And they just kill each other, which is just brilliant. Makes my life a lot easier, just you guys killing each other like that. So thank you very much. I appreciate you. What's this about? Something that is not as strong as what we have. So we're gonna keep what we have. Zombies coming out of graves. This makes sense. And where else would they be coming out of? Yeah, they say you shouldn't do this difficulty unless you have higher level items. And it's really taking quite some time to kill these enemies. So I'm seriously considering going back down to difficulty. But we're making, but we're gaining a lot of experience points, so at the same time, I'm starting to think, maybe not. Now, we got Blessed Hammer, which I very much like. I really, really like Blessed Hammer. Smite, I don't like Smite. Uh, Sweep Attacks, Blessed Hammer. Uh, summon a Blessed Hammer that spins around you, damaging all enemies. Yes, I very much like Blessed Hammer. We will go with that. Uh, shield Glare, Divine Verdict, Blinded Enemies Take More Damage. Uh, da, 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 sure, why not? Uh, what's going on here? Sweep Attack, Blazing Sweep, Enemies Put Attack will Catch on Fire. I would prefer to use Blessed Hammer. It is very useful. And it destroys entire worlds, so that's what we will go with. Its upgrades later on are very powerful. And it just deals a lot of damage in general, so... I like using Blessed Hammer. So you will see me using it a lot, and it doesn't really use that much Wrath either, so... I very much appreciate it. I require more Wrath. I like how the original uh, version deals holy damage. That's kind of nice. So if I ever have something later that increases uh, holy damage, I can just take off the runes and go with the original version. Which is, I think, what I shall do. Kill these silly zombies. Silly, silly zombies. As well as destroying the grave markers. Because we desecrate, we desecrate tombs like that. Desecrate graves. We don't care about the families of others. Or their loved ones. Ah, the Crusaders. Will you guys piss off? Thank you. In the eastern kingdom of Hejistan, I heard rumors of Zakarum warriors called Crusaders. While the natives were most reticent, I was able to deduce that this order was founded 200 years ago, just as Rakis took his army of paladins west. But these Crusaders went east on a very different mission. Yes, we went east. But what did we do going east, exactly? That is the big question. Now, I don't have to kill all these enemies, but... My OCD tells me I have to, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kill off all these enemies and get the experience for it. Whenever I see enemies on my screen, they must be killed. I cannot simply avoid enemies that I see on my screen. My wrath is low. It just goes against my entire uh, 
my entire video gaming philosophy. So if we see uh, if we see baddies, they will be annihilated to the fullest ex fullest extent of the law. Hungry corpse, I don't like you. You guys have a little more health than I would prefer you to have. Okay, once we kill this guy, we can get the hell out of here. So get out of my face. Thank you. Now, what's over here? The Cemetery of the Forsaken. All right, this is a new area. Okay, before we do anything more in this area, I am going to salvage some of my items. Salvaging allows you to get uh, repair materials, or crafting materials. Um, and you collect them over time. You can get a ton of them. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Do you have any decent shields? Yes, you do, as a matter of fact. Gain four, li four life per wrath spent and one thorns damage? I'll take that. It's better than what I have now. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, can I go into, uh, Kane's house? Is there a book in Kane's house? Yes, there is. We have come at last to Tristram's old cathedral. This is where Diablo, Lord of Terra, first corrupted mankind. This is where I may finally find the answers I seek. Leah worries after my safety. But I believe information vital to defeating the last lords of the Burning Hells can be found here. And if I remember... Did we read that? Yes, we did. Um, and I can't remember if there's another book in Leah's room. There is. Uncle Deckard is home, rescued from the clutches of the Skeleton King. I'm so glad. But the Skeleton King, I thought he was a folktale. The idea of Mad King Leoric returning to torture this place. Hasn't Tristram suffered enough? Yeah, it's definitely done a lot of suffering over the years. There's, you're definitely right about that, Leah. Okay, uh, Pool of Reflection. Gain 25% more experience, which is what I shall do. When King Leoric came to court, he brought many nobles with him. And nobles, oddly enough, want noble crits. So I showed up with my shovel. Thinking to make easy profit by digging a few holes. Ha, there's no stopping their demands around here. Now, I eat, sleep, and breathe dirt, it seems. <laughs> now I eat, sleep, and breathe dirt, it seems. Yeah, that might be, that's probably true. I mean, as a grave digger, I can only imagine that that's probably what you're dealing with. Imps. Eat hammer. Eat constant hammer and be blinded and deal and take more damage from my blessed hammers. Demons have been known to devour their own young when no other nourishment is available. Their offspring, the imps, sometimes manage to flee and band together when the demon spawn. They rove in vicious packs, ready to descend upon the unwary. And rip his body to shreds with their tiny needle sharp teeth. Yeah, I don't know if uh, my mouse cursor just disappeared or not. I just kind of turned it off. Um, I had it on screen because I was thinking maybe you guys would like to see where I'm pointing on the map, but. Um, I don't know if that's necessarily true. I feel like I'm- I feel like a mouse cursor might be a bit distracting. Uh, I'll have to- I'll have to see in post- I'll- I'll have to see in post whether I like seeing the ma- uh, the mouse cursor or not. Um, I mean, obviously it's gonna be there for the first part of this video. Um, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be there for future videos. I'm just gonna have to see how it looks in post in this video. Um... I kind of liked the first video not having the mouse cursor. I thought it looked kind of nice. It didn't, it, you, can, you guys can focus on what was going on on screen. You didn't, we guys weren't distracted by a mouse cursor. Uh, what am I seeing here? I see a, uh, a jar of souls. What's this about? And here we go. 
<laughs> and here we go. <laughs> I think the Crusader has probably my favorite personality of all of the uh, classes in this game. I mean, it's just hilarious. The wizard probably second, but I think it's just fantastic. Uh, these skeletons are just kind of existing. I'm not really worried about them. Um, eat my holy damage. Just a little longer. So these skeletons just passively show up for as long as this jar of souls remains active. So take more damage from my blindingness. I'm just gonna go ahead and take all the experience from all this, if you don't mind. Because I do have a pool of reflection up as well. So just gonna take all this experience by annihilating all these skeletons. Man, there's a lot of skeletons here. Um, too many skeletons. Ah! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! There's too much going on here. Skeletal Executioner. I want you out of my face. Tardis, Jailer of Souls. Yeah, get blinded. Anticlimactic that is. Monster kills Grand Three experience. Thank you. Jar of Souls achievement acquired. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, four life, twenty-four to strength. Reduce cooldowns by skill by three percent. Six extra gold. Monster kills trade experience. I will take that. Uh, that is better. Lightning skills deal three percent more damage and twelve to strength. Uh, that works out. Uh, 17 to strength. Join us two light per second. Uh, thank you. Okay, so we actually deal some more damage now, which is good. I actually leveled up. Hold on a second. Smite. I don't want anything from Smite. Uh, shield glare, iron skin, reflective skin. While active attackers take extra thorns damage. Uh, I think I will go with that, actually. Uh, steed Charge. I don't like Steed Charge. Law of Valor. Active. Empower the Law, greatly increasing the attack speed of you and your allies for a short duration. But it has a passive ability. Recite the Law, increasing the attack speed of you and your allies. Now, I do like the Laws. I like the passive abilities of the Laws. Um, I don't remember, I don't remember which one does what, but I like them very much. Vigilant. Increase life generation by 11. Reduce all non-physical damage by 20%. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as is and keep our heavenly strength for the time being. Uh, but we do have the Law of Valor now. So what? Increasing the attack speed of you and your allies? That's good to know. So where are we going with all this exactly? I guess we're going this way. So let's go this way. Wherever this way has to tell us. And hopefully deal enough damage to kill these scavengers in a timely fashion. Now that we're actually acquiring items that give us damage. Which is nice. Skeletons? Whatever shall I do about skeletons besides destroy them? And shatter their bones. Oh no! Champion scavengers! Yeah, take extra thorns damage. Oh jeez, I'm taking a lot of damage here. I don't like the fact that you're molten. Uh, molten is kind of a problem for me. Um, just a slight problem. Not too much, just a little bit. Ah! 
No, leave me alone. Ah, uh, no. Heal myself. Heal myself before I die a horrible, painful death at the hands of these scavengers, of all things. Of all things, scavengers. I'm not really scared of scavengers, but the fact that they're molten kind of concerns me. Molten is kind of a difficult ability to manage. Your strength fails. That's okay. I have healing powers. Darn it. Run away! Just kill one of them so you can get a health globe or something. They're not dropping any health globes, which is kind of... Oh, there's a health globe right there. My wounds heal. So thank you for that. Get a health globe again. Yeah, Molten is a very difficult ability to deal with. Um, I freaking hate it. And uh, it's always annoying. So you need to get out of my face, please. Yes, I know it does. But we don't have any means of healing ourselves. I suppose I do. I could use a potion, but... Let's just pick up this health globe. Uh, we don't need that right now. We don't need that right now. So let's not go with that. And what we're doing right now is retry- Are you freaking joking me with this? Melderon, the immortal. So he too is molten. So we've got two molten at two molten enemies right next to each other. Um, ouch. <laughs> okay, that's a de that's another death. Because we're dealing with more molten enemies. I would prefer to have a new rune on my uh, blessed hammer. You know, I might actually probably go down a difficulty because I'm getting myself annihilated, so I think I am going to do that. I am going to go down a difficulty. I hate to break hearts, but I don't want to keep on dying every two seconds. If we die, we die, but I don't want to die every three seconds to every single uh, elite pack that we come across. Hopefully you guys understand. Because I probably would have died a couple more times to them. Or at least one more time to them. And that would have been unfortunate. Even though we're inflating the, uh, the death counter. It probably wouldn't have been all that funny. Melderon, will you just go away? You've made your point. Thank you. What's this all about? The Judgmental Battle Flail. Four to maximum wrath? I'll take that. Thanks. I much appreciate that. Now that thing looks painful. I would not want to be on the receiving end of that. There's no doubt about that. Make your peace quickly. Make your peace quickly. And then kill yourselves. And this place is kind of long. I'm starting to wonder if this is the right uh, crypt because this is taking. Nope, it's not the right crypt. It's just it's just kind of long. Hello, skeletons. Goodbye, skeletons. It was nice knowing you. Just gonna hit you with electricity. Oh, hit, hit, hit. Crown is not here. My search continues. My search continues. We're not quite done yet. Yeah, we're not going to finish this video until we find the crown. 
So we've got, so we still got a little bit, little bit more in this video to go. Yeah, these videos are probably going to be a bit on the longer side. Um, because this is a long game, and it takes a while to get stuff done in this game. Get out of my face. Thank you. Protection Shrine. Damage taken reduced by 25. That is quite nice. Use my blessed hammer. Take care of the large pack of the undead. I don't need to use that health shrine, so I'm not going to. Ah, a skeleton came out of the sarcophagus, just as I expected would happen. Oh no, ghosts! Ghostly murderers! What's the deal with these crazy guys? The tragedies in these lands have left many restless spirits in their wake, and they demand retribution. These spirits will take out their vengeance on any unsuspecting individual who may pass, for they believe that the blood of the living will yet restore the lives that were ripped away from them. The blood of the living will restore their lives? Who told them this? Some demon that they talked to? Cause that doesn't sound right. I don't see how the blood of the living could actually do anything like that. I mean, why are all of the champions in this molten? Can someone just tell me that? I mean, this is three this is three champion packs in a row that have been molten. Get more creative, Diablo 3. There's so many more there's so many more options than this. I mean, I can get down with Molten, but at the same time, I mean, there's, again, there's so many more, there's so many more options. Take these guys. Can I use that? Probably. Monster kills grand plus four to experience. Give ourselves some shoulder pads. Stop running away, wretched mother. Or wretched cadaver. Close enough. Same damn thing. Your death is assured. There's no point in running away. Oh, this is still not the right tomb. At least we were able to find the portal out of here quickly. That's nice. At least we weren't wandering around in the dark. No crime. Must be in another crypt. Okay, so there's only one more crypt we can go in. Wherever it is, I don't know where it's at. I guess it's over here. Skeleton, please get out of my face. I said get out of my face. I have no interest in your nonsense. I have bigger fish to fry. So it must, so the crown must be in here. It's the only place it can be. Kill ghosts with the power of holy hammers. That makes total sense. Why are they knocking me around? They're just hitting me with shovels. Ghostly shovels. Of all things. Man, I love Blessed Hammer. It's just so it's just so effective. I mean you just throw yourself into the middle of a group of enemies and annihilate all of them. But I'm just waiting for the uh, upgrades to this uh, ability. Nothing stops the crusade. Slash, justice, I don't like justice. Pearl a hammer of justice at your enemies. I'm not a fan of it. Smite. Smite enemies up to 30 yards away with holy chains that deal a large amount of damage. The chains break off and strike at nearby enemies dealing lesser damage. Not really a fan of smite or justice. Uh, blessed hammer, shield bash. 
The targeted monster is stunned. All other monsters are hit are knocked back. Gonna go ahead and keep Blessed Hammer. Uh, cleanse for Provoke. For each enemy successfully taunted, you heal additional damage whenever striking your foes. That's kind of nice. <coughs> that I will take. The crusade marches on. You heal additional damage. I'll, I can, I can, I can accept such such things. Being able to heal from using provoke. Am I missing something here? For each enemy successfully taunted, you heal additional damage whenever striking your foes. Okay, I see. So it's whenever I hit them, I gain health. I don't just passively gain health whenever I use the item. It's when I damage people. That makes sense. Now I understand how it works. Now I get it. I understand now. Face my metal skin. You are no match. More ghosts. Ghosts in the crypt. Of course there are. Why wouldn't there be? How's it going, guys? I'm just going to go ahead and annihilate you. Because once you, once you guys show up on my screen, you're pretty much... Your, fi your fate is sealed once you show up on my screen. And as long as you guys keep yourselves hidden, you're pretty much safe. But as soon as I see you, it's pretty much all over. Harvester? What's it harvesting? My organs? My flesh? My hair? My soul? You can only imagine, man. Why were there beans inside of it? That's kind of disgusting. It's kind of interesting choice for parasites inside one of those things. What is that? 25% experience added. That is nice to have. I will take an additional 25 experience. Hey, you guys deal more damage than I'd like you to. Let's be honest here. Um, let's be completely frank and honest. That monster that everybody loves. Ah, there's too there's too many uh, wretch uh, wretching cadavers. They're making two. Ah, no! I'm stuck! I have metal skin on, but I'm still taking a. Ow! <laughs> Darn it. Darn it! Alright, let's try that again. I'd imagine at some point in the future we'll probably try to attempt a hardcore let's play of this game, but I'm not going to, uh pin down a time or place for that because I've never attempted hardcore in this game and uh, given the fact that we've already died three times in this video it probably wouldn't go very well but it might be entertaining to watch we'll have to see now where is this blasted crown I'm getting kind of sick of wandering around in circles You need to stop running away and let me kill you, please. And thank you. Aha! The Defiled Crypt level 2. The crown is close. The crown is close. I sense it. He's like, the crown is close. It certainly is. I'll go ahead and pick up that there gold. Hello? Uh, hello? Oh no! Manglema! Oh 
Die, you crazy mass of corpses. I don't know what abilities you have. It seems to me that you have Vortex. Um, that seems to be what you have. I might be wrong, though. If I'm, if I'm forgetting the... If I'm mixing up the names of my abilities in this game. Unless it's Wormhole. I'm not actually sure. It's either Vortex or Wormhole. Yes. I have additional Thorns damage. Attack me while I am metal armored, and you shall destroy yourself in the process. The horror of the crypt, yes. You are the main horror of this crypt, and I will put you down. With my electric slashing power. Haha. <laughs> The unburied are formed from human corpses that were flung into mass graves without a proper burial. This hideous amalgamation of bodies decomposes together into one being, bound by some foul magic. For all my knowledge, I could only flee from it, and I would expect any other sensible person to do the same. I guess I'm not very sensible then, uh, having, you know, just... Fought it head on and destroyed it. Must not have my head on straight. Adventuring high gloves of the lion. 27 to strength, monster kills, grass, blah, blah, blah. 33, uh, 33 damage. So we deal a little bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's he? Tomb Guardian. You're spawning skeletons, and I don't appreciate that. So I'm going to get rid of you. All of you must die at the hands of holy fire. Now, where is this freaking crown? I mean, I've been wandering around in circles for the past hour looking for this crown. Is it over here? I mean, the, the notification on the map says it's over here. Ah, yes. The Chancellor's Altar. No, I will not oh, no. to bring that monster Leoric back to this world. Chancellor Eamon, Astral Guardian. Yeah, keep on yeah, go ahead and attack me while I'm my metal armor. It definitely will work out for you in the end, guy. Just keep on using the blessed hammer. At least this guy doesn't have nearly as much health as the uh, the first champion we fought in this video. Or the first main champion we fought in this video. The one that took a quadrillion years to kill. The Jailer of the Undead or whatever it was. Can't even remember the name of it now. At least Chancellor Eamon is not that much of a problem. Doesn't seem to have too much health, as long as I continuously use, uh, my blessed hammer. I'm in pretty good shape. I don't like that you teleport around, though. Makes it difficult for me to track where you're gonna go. Get out of here. Thank you. And I leveled up out of it, too, which is perfect. Insightful Pike of Wounding. 3-4 to four damage, reduces cooldowns of all skills by 5%. So now I can use a two-handed pike in one hand. Keen hide gloves of the lion. 30 to strength, attack speed increased by three. Okay. Nice. I don't swing very quickly, but hey, we deal a ton of damage. And we just unlocked the town portal, which is exactly what we were hoping to get. Fantastic. Talk to Heydrig. Heydrig, I have the crown. You found the crown. Truth be told, I didn't think you'd make it back alive. Ah, it needs repair. Should be no problem. Yeah, it's just a, it's a perfect job for you since you've been. It's good to work again. Feeling so lost. Yeah. New as the day it was placed upon the Black King's head. I need something more than making spades to occupy my mind. I want my life to mean something. Then join my crusade. The work is hard, the rewards are few, and you'll likely die. 
Hey, hey. That does sound meaningful and awful. Meaningful and awful. But you know what? You're going to have to accept my offer, I'm quite certain. 27 to strength, 3 to max wrath. I will take that. All right, guys. That is where I'm going to go ahead and call the video. So thank you for watching today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy it. I will see you guys next time when we start out by talking to Kane and figuring out what we have to do next in our uh, journey through uh, Nutristrum's world of Nutristrum. Um, and I'm not really sure what we have to do next, um, but we'll figure it out for sure. And as always, I really appreciate you guys watching. It truly does mean the world to me. I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>